I am with you and I will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Genesis 28, 15. It's in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Ephesians 1, 11. Time. I'm so excited to be back. We, let's just let Lord, let's do it one more time, okay? Okay, ready? Okay. Anna, wait. Oh, oh, we're back! You didn't wait for Anna to wave, friend. Oh, should we do it again? One four more, more time, okay? Yeah, four ready? more times, okay. Four, oh, okay. Anna, cute. Anna. Oh, we're uh, back! Hello. Hi! We missed you guys so, so much. Yeah, we really did. Hope you had the best summer ever because, well, did, Anna did. I did. I had a wonderful summer, Mort. Mort yeah. What kinds of things did you do this summer? Hmm. That's a really good question, Anna. <laughs> well, I learned some more about Jesus because I watched Pastor Rob on the TV. Did but you? I did. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I got to hear about him. I didn't actually really see him on the TV. Just listened. He did oh. a lot of talking. Because I was sitting next to Fred. We were just kind of sitting. We sat a lot this summer. Yeah, sitting yeah. sitting can get long. Fred, what was your summer like? Oh, uh, well, I ate food. Um, mm -hmm. And then sometimes I would eat snacks. And then oh. I would eat, like, more meat. Um, Isn't that <laughs> all in the category of food? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I eat food. Yeah, right more. Yep, I, um, um, and then sometimes, like, we would eat food with other people. Um, oh. And then I would sit and digest the food and, w and wait for more food. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a very food-filled summer. Yeah, but I needed to fill all my belly so I could be ready to talk to you guys every week and, yeah. and start up Family Faith No. Woo! I'm really excited. And so Fred and Mort, this Yeah, that's me. <laughs> if you forgot, we're I'm I'm Fred. Yeah, I'm Mort. If you haven't met us, <laughs> we're yeah, the you know, best. There's some of you who might not have met us, <gasps> and I'll yeah. tell you what, I'm Fred. Um, and that's Mort. <laughs> yeah. And and, and this is Anna! Anna, she's the lady with the papers, real yeah. handy papers, and her glasses. Those things glasses. fall sometimes. It's pretty funny. You should yeah. watch. Sometimes she wears more than one pair of glasses <laughs> because she kind of forgets. Yeah. But she's a real smart lady with those papers. Mm, thank you, Mort. Do you want to hear what the papers say about today? Oh, I thought we were just saying hi and welcome. But, you know, you let's can... hear from some papers. Okay. The papers say that today is all about learning about God's promises. Oh. And so God gives us mm -hmm. with his promise, oh. and it's a promise that we're never, ever alone. <gasps> wow. And it's a promise of fierce love. Oh. So fierce and so crazy like, and radical that it's wrapped in total forgiveness. What Fear? does radical what? mean? Yeah, that's a really big word. Like maracas, like you rattle those, like <laughs> radical. <laughs> Rada, radical something? Like you rattle the maracas? Well, it's it's radical and maraca-like in that it's something huh. that we really ex that we really celebrate. So that's huh. a good one. Well, I love I like to celebrate because usually when you celebrate, you have cake. That's really <laughs> true. I had a birthday party the other day for one of my friends. We had birthday cake. So good. And Highly was it recommend. radical that you celebrated um, it? Well, we celebrated on it, but we didn't use maracas. Oh, okay. Well, this is a love that is so celebratory and maraca-like oh. that we are totally forgiven. And oh. also, we're reminded in God's promise that we don't live for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We live for Jesus. Yeah. Oh, is that why we're not alone? That's exactly why we're not alone, Fred. That's He's good. I don't like being alone, Anna. No, the alone is scary, especially in the dark. And you're just like, you feel by yourself sometimes. Yeah. And nobody's scary. Like, what if someone went, boop? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Anna. I scared you. You, you did 
Mort. Mort, you did a little bit, but you know I'm what? I'm with you, so you don't have to be scared. And Jesus is with you too, Anna. What? Thank you. Fred and Mort, you're so good at reminding me that I'm never alone. Yeah. That not only is God with me, but also the love of God is with me through you two. Yep. And through the Holy Spirit, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's probably why you don't teach up here alone, because with the black background and just yeah, by yourself, you'd be it in the be dark. Fun. Right, I would be in the dark and it would be not nearly as fun. And then uh -uh. when you teach by yourself, you're with your animals, so you're not really alone. You're exactly no, right. No, because they love you just as much as we do. <laughs> I have some pretty good animals, don't I? Yep. Well, Fred and Mort, this is the beginning of Family Faith Night, and mm -hmm. we get to learn about this year all about how we are created in the image of Christ. Oh, wow. And that we belong to him and that he's with us forever. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. It is, isn't it? So how about we say goodbye to the children, and we'll get to see them again next week. Okay. Yay. That sounds good. Hi families, it is so good to see you. I am back now for another year of Family Faith Night and I'm in kind of a contained space in our barn. This is where we keep our hay and also some of our horse feed because I just brought my two most precious babies, goaties, in with me. And they're not so much babies anymore, are they? This right here is Carmel or Carmel Warmel as we often call him. And this is one of his kind of pseudo sisters. Her name is Gabby. And I have Carmel and Gabby with me today because they illustrate the point that I want to talk about today. And that is that we have been given a promise by God that we are never, ever alone. That he is with us always. Now you kind of hear my other goaties in the distance. They're yelling because I think goats illustrate this, this promise so well. Anytime I or Pastor Rob or my children come outside, the immediate thing we hear is our goats. Going, ah, ah, and they're yelling to us. And that yell reminds me that I'm never alone on this farm. I have goats with me at all times. And they literally will come and run to me wherever I am at. They are incredibly loyal. They are with me at all times. But I have Carmel and Gabby with me here because these two literally will run to me no matter what. Their mothers or the older siblings or um, family like to go wherever the food is. But Carmel and Gabby, they're the ones that we bottle fed last year. They literally just want to come to wherever I am. And they don't leave me. They run right in between my legs and keep looking up at me like, are you with me? Are you with me? And I love it because they are dependent on me. But you know what? They give me constant love. And I am reminded in that love that that's the same way that God loves me. That he is constantly like, hey, Anna, are you with me? Are you with me? Because I'm always with you. I'll never leave your side. So today I want to read to you two verses. The first one comes from the book of Genesis, which is in the Old Testament. That is the very first book in the Bible. But it says, I am with you. And notice I didn't say I, meaning me. I pointed it to God. I say, I am with you. And I will watch over you wherever you go. I love this sign for watch. This is also the sign for pay attention. God's eyes, it's like blinders that a horse wears when you see them all with a harness on and they're being driven, all right? It's like these blinders that God is like, hey, there she is, there she is, there he is, there, he is, there they're going. God has these ama this amazing focus that is totally zoom zoomed in on us. So he says, he will watch over us wherever we go, and he will bring us back to this land, this land that he promised us. And God continues with, God will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. The sign for promise is this, comes from truth. 
You put it, then you take that truth and you put it into something and you kind of firmly grasp it. That's a promise, right? And today we're going to be learning about a couple different promises. And you're going to see in the skit today, and I want to talk about these three kind of like different parts of the promise. This first part is Ping Pong Jim is going to bring, us to, bring this to life. And it's this promise that we can be confident because God promises that we are never alone. For me, sometimes I go into different situations and I might be a little nervous or I may be a little unsure. And sometimes that, that unsuredness comes because I think I'm going into something alone. I think just me on my own, I'm going into the situation and I'm a little bit nervous. And yet when I hold on to that promise that I am not alone, that God is with me, I become confident in that. Don't I? It's just like with these goaties. Do you know, kids, a secret? With these goaties, I honestly feel like I'm unstoppable. I could take them into any situation, and I would not be afraid because I think, you know what? They love me. <laughs> and because of that love, because of their loyalty, I am confident. Then Julius is going to be coming into our skit, and Julius kind of lives out the second part of the promise. It says, we can love fully, because God promises to be with us always. Again, I think sometimes to love others fully can be tricky because people are tricky, right? Sometimes we think that we have to love others and it's dependent on how they act. And sometimes the way they act, I think, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can truly love them like God wants me to. I don't know if I can truly love fully. But you know what? It's because that God is with me his presence comes in and then I know, you know what? I can love fully because it's not me who's doing it. It's God. He's working through me because he is with me. That means he never steers away and his love will take over. It helps me to forgive. It helps me to see the best in others. It helps me to not say bad things about people. It helps me to remember the good in others and to see that in them. That's true love, right? The final promise that you're going to see lived out is with Shirley and Lulu. And it's a beautiful one. And this promise is that we can celebrate because God's promise, or because God promises his presence. So we're going to let it sneak out. And you're going to see how God definitely has that promise to be with us always. And it's just like how Shirley promises to never leave Lulu. She is by Lulu's side always. And you know what? That, that presence of Jesus, though, sneaks out. It sneaks out in the way that Shirley is so loyal. Shirley is so um, encouraging to, to Lulu always. That is the presence of God sneaking out. And that brings us to our final verse, which is that this is from Ecle or I'm sorry, Ephesians, which is in the New Testament, Ephesians 1, 11. And it says, it's in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Um, this verse reminds me that I don't live for myself. I live because God's promise is that he's with me. And you know what? So there are a lot of times that I hope that when God, you say, see the sign for with. It's coming together, right? There are a lot of times where I know that God, let's imagine this one's God and this one's on a limb, that God goes, that's cool. Watch it again. Here's on a limb. Here's God. I go into lots of situations where I think, hmm, it's on a limb doing this. Or it's a teacher family faith night doing this. Or it is, um, maybe I think of myself as a mother or a wife or a daughter or a friend. Or even it used to be like a gymnast. But you know what? I go into those situations and all of a sudden God goes, boom. He's got me. It's in his image that I'm created. That's who my identity is. It's not on a limb. It's a child of God, that God's got me, and that's why I can live and celebrate and be confident, because he will never leave me. Kids, I love you so much. God be with you, and you know what? If you ever 
wonder what it's like to always be surrounded with God's presence, you should come here to this farm or go to a place where you can love on a goat because that goat will follow you forever and ever. They're very loyal, just like our God. God be with you. I love you, family. This is my Gabby, my Gabby Wabby. And then this one, Carmel, Carmel, can you hold off for a minute with the food? Carmel, look at the camera. The kids want to see how cute you are. This is Carmel. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. your pieces out and we will get started. That's awfully strong now, Gertie. I mean, hold on. I'm wondering how can you possibly guarantee that everybody's got talent? I mean, you've seen a lot of goofballs. 
And I mean, I don't know that they all got talent. I've seen a lot of talent. I just don't know uh, <laughs> that everybody's a goofball who's got talent. So I mean. Yeah, well, why don't you listen? Hey, listen up. Why don't you let me take it from here? Okay, I will do the actual communicating with said goofballs. Don't you look? Look right here. You're a first contestant on any goofballs got talent. Tell us. <laughs> Uh, look, tell us uh, about yourself, all right? Where you're from, what you do for a living, and then uh, show us your talent. Um, well, okay, I guess this is kind of surprising because I, I don't think I'm really a goofball. Well, for the sake of this, like this fancy show here, uh, I'm Jim. This is my trusty ping pong paddle. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really go anywhere without it. It kind of stuck to my hand at this point. Uh, I live in a cave right here in the Midwest. So I guess it's not much of a talent, but uh, I can read for you the verse on my ping pong paddle. And, uh, and sometimes when I'm done reading it, you can't tell nobody, but I, I do a little jig when it's over. Oh, okay, that so, sounds So I nice. mean, uh, depending on how much the paddle moves me and the spirit's kind of going through me, I, I kind of just jig. So I guess I'll try. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, no, that sounds good. Okay, yeah, yeah that'll work then. Give uh, us the jig, yeah. <clears throat> that bug guy got caught in there before. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, terrible. Yeah, hard sometimes. It's terrible. Uh, I am with you. I will watch over you wherever you go, and I will not leave you. Look, um, you know, I'm not really sure who the I is, in your I am with you verse, uh, who is never going to leave me? It's kind of simple. I, th I think it's just Jesus. <laughs> okay. Well, see, look at that. Spirit is starting to move. Look at that, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I mean, oh, I was really moving, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think it was. Yeah. Wow. I promise. I mean, I'm, I'm not really doing this alone. I think... I think being able to do it with the spirit is kind of, kind of giving me a little more to jig about, I guess. I, I don't really Wow! Know. Oh boy, look at that now! Wowie wow! Yeah, see, oh I told you I could guarantee oh. Oh. that any goofball had talent. You just proved me correct, Jimbo! <laughs> now, my final question is, do you, uh, do you know why I can guarantee that any goofball has talent? Do you know that? You know the answer? Yeah, I do believe that, uh, Every single one of us goofballs, you included, were, uh, were created by God. And, uh, well, God who promises. Guarantees. That, well, guarantees, guarantees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be with us always. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're never alone. And uh, personally speaking, I, I think you'd get awfully tired of just kind of working through just me the whole time. So I think that pieces of God might just sneak out from me from time to time and and kind of like I'm feeling now oh my goodness oh wow <laughs> jigging type but certainly that is a talent that you didn't learn just living in your cave you know so you heard it here folks any goofballs got talent I guarantee it why don't you sit with me, Ping Pong Jim, as we bring out our next contestant? Well, I can't wait to see what uh, what what any goofball is gonna get next. Hey, ya! Do you smell the past? Strongest man in the world. Design. Big boy. Julius Van der Paar. I come very quickly when I hear about talent because I have so many of them. One of them's breaking the door down. Yeah, no, you got that one down. Look, let's see here. Uh, you already told us your name. And, uh, and I must say, it's good that you finally cleared up the, the confusion. Over the year, there were a lot of rumors going around. People couldn't tell if you were Julius Thunderpaws or Julius Vanderbilt or even like Julius Wonder Dog uh, or Wonder Bread or Garden <laughs> Salad. They didn't know, but now... Salad? I it's only meat. It is no salad. Oh, I'm Julius Vanderpaw. Strongest man in all the world, big boy. I, I cut down trees. I chopped them with my bare hands. I lift a lot of weights. I, I, I jump on things. I, I run. I, I win fast. All of, all of me is a talent. I am talent. I am the talent. Julius Vanderpaar. 
Oh, and I uh, eat meat balls all the time. You talk about the meat. I could eat so I eat meat all day to climb trees and chop things, and, and obviously strongest man in the world. Yeah, we should get like just a push door for him. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking about it. Well, look, that, that must be your talent then. And this show is called And a Goofball's Got Talent. And we guarantee. That's my paper pong, Jake. Of course, I believe your guarantee. I mean, I am goofball. I mean, meatball, goofball, whatever. I, I have talent, and I am strong, and I eat so many meatballs. I, I will show you my talent. You, you stay. I'll, I'll eat my meatballs for you. I'll show you. I, I eat them so quickly and so yummy. No, no, no. Mm. 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 Are very happy. They're living their best life. Um, that is their, uh, their special purpose to be devoured by Julius Vanderbilt. Uh, yeah, look, no, that was amazing, Julius. But I have a question for you. Now, how did you uh, so quickly believe that my guarantee was correct? I mean, you fit the first part of the description. Yeah, no, you're definitely a meat goofball. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. the talent part. Now, how did you so assuredly believe that my guarantee uh, that you had talent? Well. <coughs> It's because I don't believe you. You're not the one I believe. I believe in big boy Jesus. He's the one I believe. And, and of course, I believe in Helga May's mighty meatballs, the mega meatballs. I mean, Gertie, I explained it to you earlier. Jesus is living inside of each one of us goofballs, meatballs, meat goofballs. Because Jesus, he's a talented guy. Mm -hmm. He really, he's never going to leave us. So, Jesus... You know, he, he heard that, uh, that Julius was going to do a talent. And he sneaked right in and, uh, to Julius Vanderpar. And, uh, I mean, I, I really think it was Jesus who ate those meatballs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. Ping, Jimmy Ping Pong, no way. I, 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 I Ping Pong Jim. Yeah, Jimmy Ping Pong, no way. It was definitely I, big boy, Julius Vanderpar, strongest man in the world, who ate Helga May's mighty mega meatballs. I do believe this, that Jesus never leaves me, and he never leaves my hug, love muffin Helga May either. But, so that means Helga May and Julius, have, sometimes we have fights over who eats the last meatball, and it's really tricky because I love Helga May's meatballs, and I want to eat them, but she wants to eat them too. And, and sometimes, you know, Jesus sneaks out, and, and he calms me with my big boy temper, and I see the last meatball, you know, I get a little... Nah, nah, nah. So Jesus kind of sneaks out and, and calms me, you know, just calm. And, and sometimes then he helps Helga May forgive me because, you know, that, that anger that I showed. You need me to show you again? The, no. The, <laughs> oh, okay, well, Helga, you know, he, Jesus sneaks out and he calms and, 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 yeah. and forgives yeah. and... Then we have meatball date, and then we share the last bite, and... Uh, well, it seems like my guarantee is quite the promise, and it also seems like Jesus may be the reason for it all. Well, I have one more guest, rather, I say, duo, to introduce Lulu and Charlie. Please come out. And, uh, and welcome to the show, Ango Paul's Got Talent, I guarantee it. Ah, uh, yeah, well, uh, well thank you. I, uh, I am Lulu Popperwell, uh, church lady extraordinaire. As for your question regarding where I live, why, uh, I live everywhere in the church, naturally. Uh, the church basement, the church kitchen, the choir loft, the robe room, the office area, the church nursery, the pastor's office sometimes. <laughs> But most importantly, notably, of course, the altar. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> it's a good thing you got that shield over your face. I light the candles. <laughs> now, yes, I know, not everyone can do it. Not to cut you off, Gertie, but that is my talent. Well, one of the many, of course. And it's me, Kona Shame Shirley. Should, should, I, should I say more? Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to say more? Expand. I, I do whatever Lulu does. Yeah, I just go where she goes, and I don't really do much of anything. 
I wear onesies or this new animal shirt. She just really liked the print. They have they have glasses on them. It is it's awful. Um and yeah, I just wear this cone and, and my cat shirts or my onesies and I have a Christmas one, you know. But I just let Lulu do do the talking and I just follow her and, and sometimes I kinda, you know, hold her dress for her <laughs> and you know She's really, she, she's the one, she's the talented one. I don't, I just, I, I have a lot of shame, so the cone kind of just protects me and, and hides me. Yeah, she's, she's really quite shameful. I mean, she makes so many mistakes. I, I have to keep track of them. I mean, mm -hmm. why? I almost forgot. That's my other talent. I keep a record of Shirley's many wrongs. Yeah, she's so good at that. She always does that. She's, she's really, really talented. And, and, you know, I have a lot of mistakes, so it's, it's a lot to keep count of all of them. I just follow her around, and, and she's the best. She's, you're the best, Lulu. Do you know? Yeah. Oh, I do know. Thank you. Well, hmm. yeah, let's see. Here, you both answered all of my questions. Your names, uh, where you're from, what you do for a living, and uh, have even highlighted your talents. Yeah, we're just, uh, yeah, I think I, uh, I only have Lulu down for her talents, uh, lighting the candles, yes. carrying the largest Bible. Uh, I did that one. Singing the loudest. Always. Praying the longest. Always. Wearing the whitest choir gown. I think it's double pressed. Yeah, the, <laughs> keeping track of all Shirley's mistakes. We have a file cabinet. Uh, nope. I can't find your talents anywhere here, Shirley Gurley, but uh, you do fit the first part of the show's description here. Goofball, check! <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> but uh, talent, oh dear. Yeah, I'm afraid I can't uh, follow through on this guarantee. I can't follow through with this promise. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I don't really have any talents. I just, I just stay real nice and close to Lulu here and just stick real close. I'm always right here, Lulu, right by ya. She, she never leaves me, never leaves me. In fact, everywhere I go, there she is, right there with me, right here. Yeah, and, and I, have, I have all these little magnets on my fridge, Lulu. They're all of you. I, they're, I, I just kind of, they're... There's one cat one, um, and otherwise it's just all Lulu magnets all yeah. over the fridge. And yeah. the photos on my walls, they're not of, you know, of course, that'd be too shameful. So they're just Lulu, and, and you know, I send you get well cards, and I, I get a lot, you know, I send you other congrats cards, and you can do it. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, and oh, every morning, no, wait, really. Wait, 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 hang, you know, wait a minute, now I'm just, that is your talent. Shirley, your love, your friendship, your loyalty to Lulu. The verse Ping Pong Jim read to us was, I am with you. I will watch over you wherever you go, and I will not leave you. That's Jesus speaking in that verse. Jesus promises and guarantees that he will be with us always. And that's exactly what you do for Lulu. Because of your, your constant love and friendship, Lulu is able to feel confident enough to believe she has over 10 talents. Uh, 10 hundred, to be exact. <laughs> and, and Good job, Lulu. Not only that, but because of the promise that Jesus is always with you, he is sneaking out and covering the two of you constantly with himself. It's like a Jesus blanket, or like a Jesus robe, or like a Jesus, like a really good broken in hoodie, or like a, Ooh. you know, like a Jesus, uh, like, like a Snuggie? Yeah, a onesie, like, oh. a, a Jesus, Jesus cat yeah, onesie. Yeah, a sleeping bag. Yeah. Oh, well, Shirley, I, uh, I do appreciate all your kind gestures and your, your cheerleading. And yeah, it's, you it's, do? It's, you like? Um, well, it's... Yay. It's nice, but um, the, the fact remains that you you never leave me alone, uh -uh. and um, sometimes it feels a bit over the top. You, you want me to go? You want me to go over the oh, top? Oh, oh, no, 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 I'll no, go no, over no. the Shirley, top. Shirley, Shirley. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Was I good? You um, thought it was nice. Yeah, oh, it's nice. It's a good, good friendship. But I, I, I guess it is a good visual of the ways that the Lord promises that I'm never alone. Never alone. Yep, you heard it here first. Any goofball's got talent, and we rest in this promise because Jesus is with each and every one of us always. So celebrate that you are never alone and invite his presence to sneak out from time to time.
I'm a uh, ping pong Jim. And this is the uh, the ping pong jig. And the winner is Lulu Popolo! Church Lady Extraordinaire! <laughs> <laughs> Should I actually do it now? I need silence. Let's silence. go, Lulu. Silence. 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 Sorry. Silence. Sorry. Lulu, you got it. Who, did you do this? No. Come on, Lulu. <laughs> Maybe we should pray first? Mm, you got it. You're the, you're the holy one. You pray, Lulu. Dear Lord, light this candle. Okay, Lord, light this candle. Probably not the strangest thing he's heard today. Yes! Lulu! Lulu, she did it! Lulu! Yay! Yay! Yay, Lulu! It's her! It's Lulu Popplewell, church extraordinaire! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ping Pong Jim, he's a traveling man. He goes from his cave with his mic in his hand. Ooh. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't that it? That was really good. I was keeping it Western. Bang, bong, jam. <laughs> he likes to hunt famous squirrels. <laughs> but he don't know how yeah, to talk to the, the girls. Oh, ping pong, yeah. jam. I did, yeah. Why are you the way you are? <laughs> was it because your parents met in a North Town bar? <laughs> Oh, ping pong Jim, you don't really get it. <laughs> Your hair's looking fuzzy, you might want to wet it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <coughs> Gertie from Jersey. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> Your hair looks real dirty. <laughs> I see that flower in it. Ain't it pretty? <laughs> and it's looking real pretty. Julius Vanderpaar, you don't know where the heck you are. So, uh, I was sleeping in my cave the other day, and uh, I uh, thought to myself, uh, man, it's kind of dark in here. Then you open your eyes. I opened my eyes, and I thought, man, it's still kind of dark in here. Did you take your sunglasses off? Uh, and I took my sunglasses off, and I thought, man, it's still kind of dark in here. Was there a bear looming over you? No bear. Nope. I looked up. Guess who it was? Who was it? Lulu Popplewell. Lulu Popplewell! I know. You'll never know it. I know. <laughs> man, she's tall. She's really she's tall. tall. With that wig on, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> wow. Wow. So uh, who, who here tonight from uh, that cave across the park? Anybody? Woo! Anybody cave across Woo! the park? Woo! Oh, yeah, you. Yeah. Get out of it. Okay. Yep, thanks. Uh, anybody, <laughs> anybody from the shelter at the park? Anybody from the shelter? Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, do we got any bears? Any bears in the yard? Stop bothering me. Stop bothering me, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, squirrels, I'm hungry, so please. Thank you. You guys have been an awesome audience. I'm Pink Pong Tim. <laughs>